we just finished renovating downstairs. We were about 75% done, and we were renovating due to the flooding last year with Irene and the water. We lost our roof t with Irene. A lot of the water came in that way and ran down our walls. So we are, you know, in the process of renovating, and now this, so we have to start all over. We're going to start from scratch. It's, the water is just all in the walls, and we now have to, again, tear out the entire house and rebuild downstairs again. The back hallway which leads to the backyard, which a lot of our stuff is out there. And um, the water gushed around down here, came up the back stairwell here, to almost to where this gold strip is on the floor. The water came all up back here. This leads to our upstairs, where we're now currently trying to live. And uh, it's just a mess. There's, there's, my husband swept out the mud and scraped it out with shovels. Uh, we put some of it in the backyard, and as you saw, all the stuff is in the front yard. It's really, really pretty devastating here. And not too much assistance here at the time. Families here helping, and I know there's a lot of devastation everywhere, but we need some, some security here. If nothing else, we need security in this area. We're, we've been born and raised here. We're not leaving. It's going to take us some time. We're not leaving our home empty. Four o'clock this morning, there were packs of, of men coming down the blocks, just stuff up and down and laughing and making comments at us and telling us that we got to watch our doors and they're going to kick them in. And this is at four o'clock this morning. The grown men, these are grown men that are coming around and doing this. They're all over the place here. We, we just can't be forgotten. And that's what we need the most. Aside from, of course, we need our power back. And of course we need, you know, food and water brought in. Um, we need FEMA to come in here and help the people. People have no money to go to hotels or to get to their other family. We need, you know, assistance in that way. We're going to need help rebuilding. There are people around the neighborhood who's totally lost everything, don't even have a house to live in. My nieces live around the corner. They, they moved upstate for now. They're going to have to pull their kids out of school. It's just, it's not livable. This area will not be livable for a long time. So, so we need every and any assistance that you can bring in, emergency vehicles, security services, food, water, and most of all, people need money. They have buses. They're busing people to Pathmark up in Queens. People don't have money to spend on food up in Queens. They don't have refrigerators to put the food in when they come back. So tomorrow they're going to do the same thing, go out and try to find themselves a slice of bread because there's nowhere for these people to go. They, they have nowhere to go. People have no money. And that's causing desperation, and desperation is not a good thing.